Welcome to East Old Zerbex. On this episode, I'm exploring a two-story house that's hidden away from the public eye. This was once the home of a well-known horse trainer in the harness racing industry. Now it sits abandoned and awaiting demolition to make way for a new housing estate. Some of the things I find inside are a little bit concerning. So come along with me as I explore this interesting location. Alright, so today I'm in an area that I can only describe as a dead street. Um, there's maybe one house left on this whole street. And it's quite a, quite a decent street, but yeah. So the house we're actually going to is not connected to this street, but there is an entrance over this way, so... That's what I want to get to. Oh, that's a nice kayak. I wonder why that's there. <laughs> As you can see, we have a nice um, please do enter sign, so I'm going to enter through there. So there used to be several houses out here, actually, but they've all been demolished. This um, street actually used to continue a bit further, but it seems they've just completely removed it. Um, the actual driveway to this house is about 800 metres long and it comes off a different street but unfortunately it runs alongside a very much lived in house and I did not want to be spotted by them so we're going to try and find our way through on the side I had a look on the map and it does seem there is an easier way to get there just got to figure out how. <laughs> so I've just made my way towards the edge of the property and I've come across a few things. This giant sort of concrete pipe thing, it's massive. It looks like we've got another pond over here. Uh, get over this fence. Now I've loaded myself up with all my equipment because where I parked my car was a little bit, um, a little bit scary. So I've grabbed everything and I'm carrying it on me, which makes life a bit difficult. But oh, this looks like a like a cattle wash. Interesting. I've also cut my leg up a little bit on some vines, so that's cool. But this looks like the back of the house here. I'm just gonna approach carefully. Cause I'm, like I said, I'm still not sure if someone lives here, but I highly doubt they do, but we'll see how we go. Is it coming up on a shed? A few things lying around. I'm a little bit unsure if someone is still using this. A good way to tell is to check the fridge. Okay, that fridge has not been used in a long time. Alright, so that's the house over there. We do have another house over there, but um, we'll see if we can check this one out. But if you look just over there, that is a house that's currently lived in, so I've got to be careful. Let's see if we can get to this house. And I'm pretty sure I can hear a smoke alarm occasionally beep, which is a good sign because it means no one is tending to it. a lot of very painful weeds out here. Oh, 
I am covered in weeds at the moment. And the door is open, so that's interesting. Oh, all the doors are open. Oh, so thick, I should have worn jeans. And here we go. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna take a moment to clean myself up and then I'll get back to it. All right, so after spending about 15 minutes getting the weeds off my legs and then having a phone call, I'm back at it again. So I'm going to have a peek in the garage, I think, to begin with. Oh, that's a nice old mirror there. Um, not much else in here, really. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Oh, that's a sort of bird scarer thing. Interesting. All right, we'll probably go back through. Some old gym equipment. That's my stuff on the table. This is some, um, you got a bunch of books by the looks of it. Um, so I put my sticker there, but the door was already open when I got here, so. And I'm just gonna turn my light on. Bring that brightness up. And you can hear the beeping of the smoke alarms. <laughs> I don't think anyone else has really been in here since this place has been abandoned. Everything's pretty untouched. Laundry. Looks like a, well, a very big bedroom. Huge. I don't know if there's power to this place. I haven't found the switchboard, but nothing's working so far. That's front door. Very interesting layout. Oh, that's the stairs to the next floor. What is that? Oh my god. Some sort of mallet. Oh, this is so loud. The kitchen. There's quite a few things just sort of left behind here. It's mostly gone. Animal use only. Interesting. Oh wow, there's a bunch of keys left here. Look at that. I wonder if they're keys for the house. Dyson vacuum. Oh, the fireplace is still here. I love these old fireplaces, they look really nice. Alright, I guess we can go upstairs. And that's one of the smoke alarms that's beeping. Spiderweb across the hallway. Interesting. Oh wow. A lot of space in there. Oh, there's a bed. Wow, look at this wallpaper. Uh oh. 
Got access to a balcony. We'll see if we can get through to the other room. Through there. Oh my god. There's a lot of stuff in this room. Jeez. Jewelry. Empty. This is just absolutely full of stuff in here. It's amazing. There's lamps. This looks like the master bedroom upstairs. Oh wow. It's amazing just how untouched this place is. I mean, it is way out of the way. Let's see if we can get outside. Just gotta be careful of neighbors. It hasn't been opened in a long time. It's quite a beautiful house. Spiders everywhere. <laughs> I think there was one more room up the back. Bathroom. Oh my god. What? Um, there's, there's iPhones, that's, this is very sort of concerning actually, surely no one lives here, but this bed is quite well made and I don't think people are going to leave their products around like that. I think I'm, I'm going to finish up here pretty quickly and get out. <laughs> anxiety about someone coming home. All right, I'll, we'll see if we can go have a look at the pool area. All right, so I'm out the side of the house now. I'm not sure what that is. Oh. Water heater. And I found the fuse box. Everything is turned on. So the power must be fully disconnected. Yeah. Alright, we'll have a look at the pool area. It's very weird how much stuff sort of left laying around here. I mean, by the state of everything, no one's been here for quite a while. So I wonder why those iPhones and stuff got left there. I mean, they are pretty smashed, but yeah, anyway. Quite nice, like a little outdoor bar. Now there is, up here there's another house, which I might check out, but yeah, it's a very interesting place. Ultimately it's going to get knocked down and subdivided into more houses probably, so yeah, well I'll go ahead and investigate that other house, but I think we're done with this one. There used to be a bunch of old sheds here by the looks of it on satellite imagery. It's gone now. This just looks like a little sort of one bedroom 
set up. And again, the door is open, so that's a good sign. A lot of stuff's left around here. Hello? Always got to check. Yes, fix my gimbal. There we go. carrying my camera under my arm so that's what that metallic sound is huh anyway, got his own spire out the back interesting now oh, it is open Something making a noise over there. There's so much stuff here. Oh, this place is bigger than I thought. Another old fireplace. I even got a TV still. Huh. I wonder if this one's got power. No. It's a big bathroom for such a small dwelling and a spa bath. This is a luxury. Uh -huh. All right, well, that's, that's the last sort of building on the property. I gotta wait, work my way back through the bush to get out of here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. This is been quite a quite an experience this one um so yeah stay tuned for more episodes of urban exploration in the future